that. If he's already out in the open doing that, what else won't he do? Crime alert now. A man exposing and touching himself on a popular trail in Mission Valley is still on the loose. Last night at 11, we told you about a jogger's disturbing encounter. It was just north of the San Diego River. Ten News reporter Michael Chen went back out there today, and some say they are not surprised by what's unfolding there. Along the San Diego River. I walk here every day, Monday through Friday. On this scenic trail. It's nice. It's very pretty, though. It's a shame. A scene that Lisa Estelle does not want to think about. If he's already out in the open doing that, what else won't he do? What the man did. He was standing right here. Stopped Ashley Matthews in her tracks on Monday around 7 p.m. Matthews, who works at 10 News, was jogging when she saw him. The man with a scruffy beard and gray hoodie was standing right along the trail, watching the runners and touching himself. His pants were down on his knees, and I mean, serious face, like, no big deal. This is apparently where that happens. She took off, warned others on the trail and called police, but the man was not found. I feel sorry for her that she had to witness something like that. Tina Quint says it is disturbing, but not surprising. I have seen people camping out. I've seen people passed out. Quint says the homeless are a frequent side in the bushes. You expect all kinds of elements in this trail area and that you walk it at your own risk. A risk Estelle is still willing to take with a few extra precautions. I'm thinking that maybe I need to put some type of pepper spray in my pocket just in case. Michael Chen, 10 News. Now, police say they haven't gotten any similar calls in that area. They do encourage anyone who sees something like this to make an official report and not just call it in.